Beardo Benjo. Welcome to the wonderful world of Ooblets. Ooblets is a brand new game that mixes farming sim, town life sim and creature collecting into one fantastic and adorable little package. If you're just setting out on your journey, then it's a little bit daunting. There is a huge amount to do in the world of Ooblets and it's difficult to know where best to spend your time. In this video, I'll lay out my top 10 tips for getting the very best start to your journey in Ooblets. Number one. Speak to all the townsfolk every day. It sounds simple enough, but if you do it, you will get XP when you go to sleep that night that helps level up your character. Also, very early on, you'll reach a point in the story where you get to fix a sticker machine. Once you do this, speaking to the characters daily increases your chance to earn a sticker and increases your friendship level with that character. Once you unlock a sticker for reaching a new level of friendship, you also unlock unique items such as clothing, musical instruments and other tools. So make sure you're speaking to the townsfolk every single day. Number two, as soon as you can, visit the Learnery. The Learnery is located in the top right corner of the map and looks like a little silver caravan. Once inside the Learnery, you'll see a few things you can interact with. The most important thing is the scanning device, which allows you to scan your ooblets and document them. Each time you scan a brand new ooblet, you'll receive two things. Firstly, a big stack of cash, which is always fantastic. And secondly, a small toy of that ooblet, which you can place in the town hall to complete your collection. Using this learnery device to scan your ooblets is one of the best ways to earn money early on in the game. Number three. Staying on the topic of the learnery, in the corner of the room, in the left-hand corner, there's a small robot called Hangerbot. As soon as you reach the point in the story where you can fix Hangerbot, make sure you do. Once repaired, Hangerbot will send you a letter every day in the post detailing a certain resident in the village who requires an item. If you can locate the villager in the letter and give them the item they require, it will give you a huge boost in your friendship. <laughs> Number four, complete Tinsel's tasks. This one sounds pretty straightforward and I'm sure you'll do it anyway, but Tinsel starts throwing tasks at you left, right and center as soon as she can. You can have many of these tasks on the go at the same time, so it makes sense to start them off and slowly work your way through them as you progress through the game. Many of the tasks do require you to use the same resources, so you need to split them up evenly or just work on one before moving on to the next, but there's no harm in having multiple Tinsel tasks going at any one time. Completing these tasks unlock more tasks, which in turn progress the story. At one point, you'll unlock a hot air balloon, which means you can visit other areas of the island. Number five, check your farm throughout the day. The farming aspect of Ooblets is probably the most important part of the game. Now, one thing to bear in mind with your farm is that it can grow weeds and twigs and have impacts on your crops throughout the day. So although you wake up in the morning and clear away all the weeds, you can come back later on in the same day and find that weeds have taken over your crops. So it's best to just pop back every now and then to check that there aren't weeds impacting the growth of your ooblets or crops. The town in ooblets is quite small, so it doesn't hurt to just swing by the farm every now and then just to make sure your crops are maintained. Number six, take naps if you start to feel a little drowsy. Throughout the day in Ooblets, you have an energy meter that's worn away when you carry out tasks such as weeding, breaking rocks and breaking twigs. If you start to deplete that energy meter, one way of refilling it is to eat some food. But if it isn't too close to the end of the day, you can also retreat to your house and have a quick nap to get some more farming done. As far as I can figure out, there are no limits on the amount of naps you can take each day. So you can keep napping if you do need more energy to carry out more farming tasks. Number seven, start growing clothlets immediately. You'll quickly figure out once you start your journey in Ooblets that most quests require you to have the same items to complete them. Planklets, Nernies, Clothlets and Obsidian. Planklets and Nernies are extremely easy to come by. You'll pick these up just by weeding your farm or foraging around town. But Clothlets and Obsidian are extremely difficult to come by. The good thing about Clothlets though is they can be purchased from the shop in seed form and can be planted pretty much straight away. Get a bunch of these growing and continue to make sure you've got them growing constantly. They're a great resource and you do need them for almost all early quests. Number eight, hunt for obsidian. Now I did just mention obsidian before. It's extremely valuable and it's extremely rare. It is something you need for most of the early game tasks and it is quite difficult to find. The best way to find obsidian early on is to break the rocks on your farm. You're not guaranteed to get a piece of obsidian, but I've had two or three drop during my two to three hour playtime. 
Yeah, that's not fantastic, but it's meant I can progress the story forward. You can spend your wishes on Obsidian, but I would say hold on to them, and I'll get onto that in the next point. But for now, it's best to break those rocks every day and hope that you find some. Once you get a little further into the game, you can have Ooblets work on your farm. These Ooblets have a higher chance of finding Obsidian if they are a gleamy Ooblet, which I'll also come on to very soon. Obsidian is also an ingredient in creating Oob Coops. Now, Oob Coops are really important. Oob Coops allow your Ooblets to work on your farm, carrying out tasks for you and possibly harvesting Obsidian. So that first piece you get, I urge you to go to the furniture shop use the fabricator and create some oob coops. They really are important. Number nine, save your wishes for character upgrades. Every day you're given tasks. Completing these tasks earns you wishes. Now, when you look at the catalog to spend your wishes, it can be tempting to use them for things like obsidian or maybe some speedy grow to help your crops grow faster. Try your very best to not do that. It's better to save those wishes and use them on character upgrades that are a little bit more expensive, but will help you out in the long run. Obsidian is extremely hard to come by and it can be frustrating, but it's a waste of wishes to spend 100 of them on one piece of obsidian. If you can get some oob coops set up with ooblets working in them, you'll start to harvest obsidian quicker than if you were to spend your wishes on them. It is a little bit slow at the start, so I can understand the temptation, but your wishes are much better spent on character upgrades. Yes, they're a little bit more expensive, but they will help you in the long run. Number 10, look for gleamy ooblets. Now I've put about three hours, maybe four hours into ooblets at this point, and I have not come across a gleamy ooblet just yet. What is a gleamy ooblet, you ask? A gleamy ooblet is a little bit like a shiny Pokemon. Each ooblet has three different variations, standard, unusual, and gleamy. Gleamy ooblets are extremely easy to spot because they'll glimmer and shine like shiny Pokemon do. They're also a different color scheme to the unusual and regular ooblets. If you do come across one of these gleamy ooblets, they are fantastic for setting to work in your oob coops. The reason for this is gleamy ooblets are far more likely to harvest obsidian for you if they work on your farm. Another benefit of finding the gleamy ooblets if you scan them in the learnery, you do get more money for that scan because they're a rarer breed of ooblet. But the main reason to have as many gleamy ooblets as physically possible is to have them all working on your farm in the oob coops so they can start to harvest obsidian for you, which is extremely hard to come by otherwise. I hope this has been helpful guys. I'm very new to Ooblets myself, but these top 10 tips are really helping me make some headway into the game. I'm absolutely loving it. It really is scratching that Animal Crossing, Harvest Moon, Stardew, Pokemon itch that I've had for a little while now. And I really can't wait to get lost in this game even more. What do you think? Are you enjoying the game? Have you been won over by its cute aesthetic? Or are there things you'd like to see it do that it's not quite doing yet? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave me a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're all enjoying Ooblets and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Take care of yourselves.